Today at Coyote Classics, we're very excited to show you and most excited to test drive this 1970 Chevelle SS. Damn. This car is amazing. If you come, you drive it, you'll buy it. <laughs> this thing's amazing. It is made by dad. That sound you're hearing is a big block, 502, 502 horsepower. Sitting what a under cool the hood. car. It's, it's sweet. Tuxedo black with the white stripes, white interior, working cowl induction hood. This car has everything going for it. it definitely does. It's got a serpentine belt system under here under the hood. Beautiful All chrome dot engine compartment. Car brakes, power steering. And if you're wondering what this motor can do, just look at that 30 foot long black mark <laughs> right out front of the dealership. I let off. I mean, that was from yesterday, yeah, and you let off. But this thing is this thing sweet. is purely badass and, and show quality, you know, on the outside. And didn't you say this was done probably five to ten years ago? Yeah, about ten years ago. Dave and I talked with the previous owner. Um, and he was experienced in building building motors, actually a drag racer guy, and he built this for his, you know, personal drive around enjoyment car. But uh, he loved horsepower and he did a good job building this one. The paint job is just so deep. And uh, you'll, you'll see what I seen the other day, like the bottom of the hood, trunk lid, all that stuff. The paint's just as nice under there as it is everywhere else. Yep. And um, we can't verify it, but it's believed to be an original, you know, LS5 454 car. Um, previous owner said that it did have the original motor, but it blew up and then he put the 502 in it. But he doesn't have, you know, picture of that original. So it's very hard to say, but it's got all the correct equipment, the 6,000 RPM tack, all the right suspension components. Regardless, it's a it's a badass 70 Chevelle. It, it definitely is. And after you uh, um, get behind the wheel with us here in just a little bit, it's such a quality driver. Mm -hmm. I mean, some of these builds are kind of just race cars. You know what I mean? They're just rough riding. This is fantastic. Yeah, rides like a grandma grandpa car <laughs> with does. you know with a crazy amount of horsepower. The bumper, the. Uh, Headlight, eyebrows are beautiful. The grill's in excellent shape. Marker lights were all done at the time of restoration. As Dalton mentioned, the cowl hood works perfectly. Windshield's really nice, and it's got the uh, antenna in the windshield. As we look across the top of the roof, it's super straight. What a straight car. Bottom of the front fender, door, rocker panel is all excellent. Bottom of the corner of the door fits in there just very nicely as well. Body lines are good. Really nice fit and finish here. The thing we notice it has one little scratch here we notice in it and it's not deep enough to I don't think I think it's just in the clear. I think we'll buff that out here. I'll send it back to detail here in just a little bit and get that buffed. Um, back bumper is excellent. I love the dual exhaust, the sound, the look. I gotta pop the trunk for you too because the trunk's very nicely finished. The back shelf and the top of the back seat are excellent. Love the parchment interior. I do too. Oh wow. Let's see if I can get the right angle here. Yeah, I mean the trunk was... Hey, the trunk light even works, huh? Yeah, it speaks to the, you know, just the quality of the car. Trunk light works, the trunk itself is, you know, oh, sorry. very nice. Oh wow, nice. Correct uh, style spare, jack all there. Very nice. Doors open and close so nicely. And then look at the door jam paint. It shines just as nice as the outside. I mean, you can see a reflection in the door jam paint. Uh, bucket seat interior is in excellent shape. Seat backs are nice. Um, top of the dash pad is excellent. Uh, does have tilt wheel and all the SS gauges. Headliner is super tight. Dome light works. Back seat's got all the original GM seat belts and is very nice as well. It's got the uh, Chevrolet floor mats. And it's got MSD ignition. I like how they did that with the box too. You know, it's nice and tucked underneath underneath the dash. You don't. Oh yeah. It doesn't stick out. Everything looks stock unless you look from you know lower angle. You can see the MSD box. I didn't even notice it every time. No, I, exactly. I, I like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's not under the hood with a bunch of wires. Yeah. 
And then uh, the thing that like, as soon as I got in this car for the first time, that really kind of sold me on it before I even drove it and felt the horsepower, original clockworks, factory AM FM radio still works in a no 500 way. horsepower Chevelle. That's very impressive. That's probably where you get like the grandma car with uh, all the Correct. horse, huh? Yeah. And it just drives that way too, mm -hmm. as far as the steering and brakes and, and the whole nine yards. Um, quarters are awesome over top of the wheel well. It's beautiful. Same thing, the bottom of the door, uh, front of the quarter is excellent. The nice thing about this 70 Chevelle, it's nice enough you could call it a trailer queen, but it's, it sounds so good and it feels so good, you just gotta drive it. Oh yeah. Windows all roll up and down really nicely as well. How nice and smooth is that? Um, entering the seats, all in nice shape here, the cord. And the seats are just nice and soft. Door panels are beautiful. Inside of the door jam paint, just as nice as the rest. Corners of the doors are rust free. <laughs> A lot of leg room too. And with this tilt wheel, man, for a 70 Chevelle, there's a lot of room here. Factory clock, just like Dalton said, works perfect. Kind of go through everything here, what works and what don't. Um, like this one, we run through the shop, just like any of our cars, make sure all the lights work, make sure that the uh, oil's been changed, the antifreeze is 34 below, um, just ready to go. Mm -hmm. um, I love the cow knuckle flappers on these 70s. Neat. So, we're gonna go through what works and what don't quick. Factory tack works perfectly. Speedometer works, we drove that yesterday. Clock works excellent. Uh, the fuel gauge right now does not work. We do have a new sending unit that we are planning on uh, fixing for our asking price. Really great, good oil pressure. Yeah, great oil pressure. Temp gauge works, we're at 140 right now. Volt gauge works. Wipers are working. Heater fan works great as well. Dome light works. So really the only thing right now that is not working is the gas gauge and we're planning on fixing that. That's crazy. How often do those work in general? And then they don't. I mean that's what that's what I'm saying, just tells you, you know, about the car. Battle.com. Battle.com. Sounds good too. Got pretty good speakers up there too. It's got the yep. dual speakers up the top. Yep. thing is is sweet it's one that you, you've said multiple times that you know if um, <laughs> if you could ever train yourself to keep something you yeah. know you'd put this right in the garage and would drive it all summer long why would you I mean black with white stripes beautiful bucket seat interior and white the best year of the Chevelle oh my gosh days and confused movie right yep 1970 Chevelle yeah black with white stripes you like old Matthew McConaughey in here um, another <laughs> note for the transmission, so it's a manual valve body, so when you go through, you shift it one, two, three. You know, it's automatic, but you shift it yourself, one, two, three. Um, or you can go ahead and just put it in third and start off from there. Yep, because it's got lower gears. That so. that black mark, right, right there. there, can you see it? That long... <laughs> was <laughs> when wild. we started in third. Yeah, yesterday. That was third gear. We're gonna see if we can replicate that with you now that we to? got the drone. Let's yeah, we gotta replicate it for these guys on YouTube. Put their brand new Mickey Thompson tires in the back. Brand That's right. New. Only two burnouts they'll have on them. We only right. have two burnouts on there. They're right. brand new Mickey Thompsons we put on the back. Now they're gonna be slightly, slightly used. Damn. This car is amazing. And how about just how nice and tight and stuff it feels? The smoke's still rolling back there. But look at it. It's it's mint. I mean, it's absolutely mint. I mean, it, going sideways like that, getting on it, and everything felt tight. There was no rattles. The dash wasn't shaking. You know, it was just smooth and as butter. And here's just taking off a third. We don't, we don't, but you take right off from stop sign if you want. You know what I mean? It's still got good gears, so. Damn, this thing is quick. I love this car. I mean, that was, 
now we're doing 30, we're doing 4,000 RPM. But right there was about 5,500 RPM. Yep. Kicked out. Oh, wow, man. man. Isn't it sweet? It's cool. And then watching that flapper come if up. If we off. have to stop in a hurry, look at this. That's nice. Damn. Oh, it's performance, but like you said, it drives like a freaking very, very low mileage new 70 Chevelle. Yeah. Doesn't it? It does. It does. But I think it's got more performance than it would back then. <laughs> Woo! But how can you not love this car? If you come, you drive it, you'll buy it. <laughs> this thing's amazing. It is made my day. I was feeling a little sleepy this morning. Not anymore. Now I'm, now I'm ready to go. This is better than 12 cups of coffee. Uh, it is. It is better than 12 <laughs> cups of coffee. Wow! <laughs> um, the speedometer is off because I know we weren't doing 120. No, but it, the speedometer is off a little bit, which comes with the bigger tires and, you know, lower gears. But this is an amazing car. If you're looking for one, you'd be uh, mistaken not to buy this one. So check it out on the website, CoyoteClassics.com. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you see next, next time. time. Wow, that's never going to get old. <laughs> Fucking lights them out.